In today's video, we are going to be going on a food tour with my friends here in the Lat City, Vietnam. Before we jump into the food right now, we need to get ourselves some salted coffee. With uh, my friends right here, these guys. Salted coffee right here in the lab. So Sean, you are the man that likes to be cultured and a coffee connoisseur. Try the salted coffee. Thank you. Am I supposed to mix it or just drink? You drink it. You can mix it. Drink it, then mix it. Mix it first. Do you taste the salt? Yeah, it's really good. I don't. Is it salt or is it just the the flavors from the different milk? Let me try it. I gotta make sure it's, it's salted. This one's not so salty. It's not that salty, but it's very good. Yeah, and I actually triple checked to make sure it's salty. She said yeah, because some of the salty coffee that I've had, it's like. It's very salty, but it, I personally really like it. But this is, it's a nice coffee though, it's really good. Yeah, very, very tasty. It's very salty, but it actually worked. The salt was in the foam, that's my bad. When we were little kids, I nearly broke his back and his mom was mad at me. And I split his head open with a rock. Over right here is Palau, Vietnamese soup with organs, we got some bun mi bread. My friend Matthew is a big fan of organ meats, and he's also extremely respectful for all cultures and countries that he visits. <laughs> so we got this especially for him. This is stomach, okay? So you gotta eat it first, take the chopsticks. It's a very common pet. Matthew, try with the bread, you guys, try it. The sauce you dip it in, it's nice, a little spicy, salty, sugary, yeah. sweet, and you have like the, the kemquat. It's great. If you guys don't like organ meats, every organ kind of has its own texture. Liver, kidneys, taste-wise a little bit different. Texture-wise, it's like brains, stomach, intestines not so bad, but it's usually more of a texture thing when it comes to this. If you've never had stomach, it's just chewy, and then also the inside. Sean, since you're a medical doctor, I forgot the scientific name for the inside of a stomach. Mucosa. The mucosa. And Evan, being a professional chef and single, what is your thoughts? Never gets old. Uh, it's good. I like the flavor. It is chewy. I mean, but I expected that. Um, so once you get past that, it, it's good flavor-wise. Flavor is good. Do you know what they cook in, Dustin? Yeah. Um, so this should be cooked in coconut water, Evan. And what's the color come from? <laughs> Spicy. Ah. Okay. So let me say. It. So Evan, um, this is gonna be cooked with coconut water, and then also I think it's cashew oil. Interesting. I would not have expected that, but I like it actually. The the flavor is very good. Good job. Thank you. Let's get something else. This egg is something that I did a video in the past. I'll put a quick glimpse if you guys want to see that. My friend does not sell them anymore, but uh, it's there. This egg's really good. So this right here is a special egg, you guys. Don't worry, it's not like baby duck or anything, Matthew. I know you really want to try the baby ducks. But this right here, the very top of it, they'll use a syringe. They'll suck everything out and put it like in a big pot. Then they add a bunch of spices to it, mix it up, take the syringe and put it back in and then steam the egg. Um, this is legit. I really like this dish. I'm glad I just saw this and I wasn't paying attention. So, for you guys, um, Matthew, you gotta peel the eggs, Matthew. Matthew, we're all waiting for you. He's like, in this like it's, it's like a shot or something. Oh, I am, I'm nervous. Oh, it's not bad. It's but, good, right? Uh, I just get nervous, dude. I get very nervous. I'm so nervous. But one out of 10, what would you give it? Uh, like two. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, seven. Did you dip it? Salty. No, I didn't. You gotta, no, it's good. You gotta dip it in the sauce. But it's different, it's, right? Yeah, it's salty. What I love about this is like the creativity of it. Like you would never imagine like making a hard boiled egg. I go with the sauce. Professional chef and single, Evan? Um, I'm single, I'm a professional chef. And I approve this egg. It's good, right? Yeah, it's good. good. It is a sweet potato. Cheers. What's cheers in Vietnamese? Um, oh. Yo. I like it. Um, yeah, I, it's a sweet potato, but you, I like that you kind of get like the smokiness from the char. Evan, what you meant to say is that it's really good and you want to come back to Vietnam again just to eat it. 
since you guys are in Dalat, Dalat is famous for strawberries. I know in Southern California, we get a lot of strawberries. But if you come to Dalat and don't have strawberries, uh, my YouTube audience will get really mad at me because they're quite famous here. So you guys are gonna get strawberries. Matthew. So these strawberries right here, Matthew, they're fermented in fish sauce. <laughs> Good, I only like fermented fish sauce. Hi, Chiwai. Yeah, mo do lak? Yeah, hi, Chiwai. Uh, bao nhiêu tiền? Do lak? 25 ngàn. okay. So Sean Glidden, 25,000 Vietnamese dam. Look at this. Some beautiful strawberries right here. So you guys, so this is very famous in the lab. The strawberries itself are famous, but please try this now, because you guys ate too fast, so. Yeah, crunchy strawberries. In a good way. Yeah. Professional yeah. chef and single Evan. They're better now. They're better now with the sugar. The sugar helps. A lot or a little? A lot. Yeah. I think give it. it a month and they'll be much better on their own. Not, he does focus on pastries. Evan is a dessert chef, but he does have experience cooking Vietnamese food in the United States. I'm kidding. Professional <laughs> Vietnamese chef. So Evan is very particular when it comes to desserts and pastries. Yeah, you would need a little bit more, you know, maybe if you did this like on top of a cake or something, sure, but not just alone, not just by itself. He has out. very high standards. Yeah. yeah. A little, bit, a little too crunchy yeah. for Evan. Let's get some more food. Start with the sweet sticky rice, one of my personal favorites in Vietnam for dessert. Good. I love this. Yeah. The sweet sticky rice, it's not overbearing. It's not too sweet. You can taste the coconut. You can taste a little bit of the salt, the sugar that they add with a little bit of peanut. Also, the banjang right here, it's a bit sweet. Absolutely, do. I love it. Lots of texture in there with the sticky rice and the crunch of the banjang. So uh, Evan, since you are the professional pastry chef, I want you to take the second bite. And single. I like it. Um, I like the, yeah, I like the flavor and everything. We don't get a lot of like street food types of desserts in the U.S. like this. So it's really unique and yeah, I like it a lot. No, pr pretty colors, sweet flavor, 10 out of 10. I like it. And this rice is fermented too. <laughs> oh, with mom thumb? Yes. My favorite. This sticky rice right here is savory, not sweet like the last one. This one is going to taste entirely different than what you guys just had. Matthew, you can do the special privilege of trying this one first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is really... What's so bad about it? There's the fishy taste on the top. Because there's, oh, the there's shrimp on it too. It's pork, oh, it's shrimp, geez. fried onions. I don't want to. Sorry. Sorry, Vietnam. For me, I prefer the sweet one over this one. This one, I have to be more in the mood. It's good, but I just don't like to eat it all the time. Nine. Really? Nine? Oh, nice. Matthew is going to vomit, and then Sean gives it a nine. I like it. I would have started savory, then sweet, though. Just. Yeah. I know. I'm too excited. we got to start sweet first. So since you guys are being kind of babies right now, yeah. this right here, this is a Jung Nong, I believe. My, I don't know all the Vietnamese for some of these like special foods, but... And Sean, Kenmore, since you're a medical doctor, you'd call these chicken ovaries. Because I don't think it's ovaries, I think it's the eggs oh, that are like premature it. eggs. Okay. That's, that's what I would say. The but, the ova. So, Matthew, I'll leave this one for you. <laughs> it's okay. It's like chicken soup with eggs. It's just like that. So the thing is with this, I'm trying to think of something that I can like relate it to, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I swallowed it. That's good a good job, start. Dude. Yeah, come on. Not as bad as mom thumb. Not as bad. It's weird. It doesn't taste like much. It doesn't have much flavor. The is a little weird, but yeah. The soup is just like a mild chicken soup. Yeah. We're going to get two more things. Game ba and then ban chang nung da lat. But uh, if we accidentally see something else, then we'll have to get that too. But let's get some kimbo. Kimbo, pretty much in the title itself, avocado ice cream with some dried sweetened coconut shavings on top. If you like avocado, you're going to like this. Since we have the professional chef and he's single, he's going to be trying it first. 
But this ice cream, I think for a lot of Americans, there's gonna be a slightly, it's not an off flavor, but a flavor that's not going to resemble American ice cream. So it's gonna be a bit different. And it has a strong avocado taste. I like it. I've played around with avocado for desserts before. Not a lot of people in America like it, but I do like it. It's good. I One out of 10. Eight. Eight? Yeah. It's really interesting. The avocado is like definitely the star, which is unique. But I, I like it, yeah. Time. One out of 10? Eight. One out of 10? Seven. Seven. So Matthew, this is with fermented avocado. <laughs> <laughs> fermented avocado. Seven out of 10. Cheese yogurt. I personally like it. It's very tart. I love tart yogurt. Let's see what they have to think. Professional chef and single. What do you think? I like it. It's good. Um, yeah, just they kind of like yogurt. Yeah. One out of ten. Um, nine. 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 Yeah. Just to taste, ladies, of what you'll experience if you get that. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Nine. I give it an eight point two. Now. Last but not least, but we need to find Bunjang Nung the Lat. So, Bunjang Nung the Lat. If you come to the Lat, this is probably one of the most popular street food items here, and we save the best for last. So, Matthew, this is fermented with mum tom, the fish sauce that you tried earlier. And then those weird eggs that we had earlier, they use those that are raw and they soak it in the, the rice paper. I'm just kidding. Uh, but you guys saw a lot of the stuff that they add. But this is a really nice, I personally, I like this dish quite a bit. So for you guys, have the privilege of trying it first. Matthew, Sean, you guys can go for it. It's not really fishy, Matt. It's not that fishy. I like it. There's maybe a tiny bit of dried shrimp. It's sweet, but Matthew complains a lot because I'm Middle Eastern. But this has a lot of flavor to it. But the tiny bit of fishiness, it's a little difficult for Matthew, but it's okay, Matthew. John Glidden, one out of 10, how would you rate it? Mm, you know, like a seven and a half, like lots of flavor. It's good. Different. Different, yeah. It's like Taco Bell. The middle part is the best. A lot more flavor, it's got some mayonnaise on it, chili sauce, a little bit of shrimp, the onions, the egg. I like it. For me, it's 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 good. It's like a nice like snack food. What would you yeah. give it out of 10? I don't really give 10s. 10s are like perfect food. If I was drinking, maybe I'd give it a 10. Um, but it's good though, it's, it's, it's nice. You gotta try it if you come here. So you guys went to Nye Chang earlier. I used to eat this, oh, I don't wanna say every single day, but I used to eat this all the time. Which is a uh, Jim Goop. So inside we have a bird. Okay, as long as it's not fishy. No, so this is, you can see like a... Oh, it's quail. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Matthew, I have one piece for you to try. That's the head. <laughs> Come on, let me check that. No, no, no. Don't make it, Matthew, on, if you eat go this. Go I know, I've done, I've done everything you've asked me to, dude. <laughs> fucking video. Don't make him do that. Give me that one. I'll take a bite of a little. Head. Fifth, I'll split it. I'll tell you what, I eat half the head and you eat half the head. I get the beak. He doesn't like the head, he's not even leveling. I know, it's a good part. It's the school's really. So you try it and I'll figure out if I want it. That's the beak. Oh, God. So you just get a little brain, the neck. I'll try a little. Okay. A little. Very little. Oh god. Did I? But you guys try it. Chongo, you want to try? I used to eat this all the time in the Chang. Really? Is it um, is it quail or squab? Um, I would say quail. I don't know what squab is so. I think it's quail. Very chewy. Yeah. Not bad. And what I like, you can eat the bones. You don't really need to pick through, you just eat the whole thing. Unfortunately, this food video has come to an end. If you guys like the little series with my friends, this is also the last video I have with them. After this, I will be back by myself exploring Vietnam, trying different food, doing fun adventures. But for you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again with another video very soon. Tam Biet. Tam Biet.